be. This video will cover the topic, finding an output of a function from its graph. Our first example will be, finding the value of f of negative 5 based on our graph. Would we find the answer by first looking at the x value that the problem provides us with? Yes, that is correct. Our first step will be to look at the x value of our problem and use the value to help us find the answer. For each point x comma y on the graph, the x coordinate gives an input of the function. The y coordinate gives the corresponding output. That is, y equals f of x. In the case of our problem, x equals negative 5, so we need to find the y coordinate that corresponds with our x coordinate of negative 5. Now we look at our graph. We can draw a graph that represents x equals negative 5. From there, we see where our graph intersects with the graph of x equals negative 5. Once we find that point, we look to see what the y coordinate is for that point. In this case, our y value is negative 4. This means that our final answer is f of negative 5 equals negative 4. But wait, we only looked at an example of a linear graph. What happens if we had a different type of graph, like a parabola? Even if we had a different type of graph, our method would still be the same. Let's use the example problem, finding g of 0 based on our graph. We are looking to find the y-coordinate that corresponds with our x-coordinate 0. We draw our graph that represents x equals 0 and look to see at which point the two graphs intersect. Once we find that point, we look to see what is the y-coordinate of that point. In this case, our y-coordinate is 2. This means that our final answer is g of 0 equals 2. Would it be okay if we did one more example problem that involves a different type of graph? Sure, let's do the example problem, finding f of 4 based on our graph. We are looking to find the y-coordinate that corresponds with our x-coordinate, 4. We draw our graph that represents x equals 4 and look to see at which point the two graphs intersect. Once we find that point, we look to see what is the y-coordinate of that point. In this case, our y-coordinate is 2. This means that our final answer is f of 4 equals 2. Okay, I think I'm starting to get this. But I was wondering if I could summarize the topic just to be sure. We identify our x-coordinate and then draw a graph that represents a vertical line through our x-coordinate. From there, we locate the point where our two graphs intersect with the y-coordinate of our point being the answer to our problem. Great job! It seems like you're understanding how to find an output of a function from its graph.